Ow! He bit me! She's trying to bite my head off. I tell you, I don't have insect sex. Do not eat my head and try to screw me. I will not like that. Oh, there's one more egg. How many eggs do I got now? I got eight. I think all I need is one more. I do not want to be a giant menace sex toy, though. Well, this is a dead end. I wonder how you're supposed to get into that other... Oh, uh -oh. God, there's another one. Now, you're not getting away from me. You're not getting away from me. There is a hole in a wall somewhere that I'm missing. There's a hole in my head. Cause there's a hole in the sky. Something evil's passing by. What's to come? When the sun is in the sky. That's not the right words. Run with the wolf. Bam 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 well, I'm missing a... There's a hole somewhere. I'm missing a hole. There's a hole in my head. I can't remember if I'm live or dead. Why is this door closed? Why is all these doors closed? Haven't I been here before? Yeah, I have. I am so glad you're with me. I'd hate to be in here all alone. Woo. So glad you're with me. Enough said. There was another hole in a wall somewhere that I'm supposed to find. And I have no clue where it is. I am stumped. Is it over here? Overseer's office. I don't think so. Hella from Ragnarok. Hella. Oh. <laughs> The, the sister oh, I, I seen that I, I'm so jumpy. I don't watch I don't get a chance to watch newer shows too often but just where am I going just last week or so um I looked it up on on this app that I have called Cody and there was a new Ragnarok on there And I watched it, man. It was pretty cool. I don't know where the other thing is. I, I, I'm missing something. There's an area that I haven't been into yet. Okay, so I can go that way. Or I can go this way. I need to check everything. Because there's, there's a hole in the side of a wall. If I see the hole, I remember... I'll know. I'll know. I don't think I've been through the hole. Maybe I have. Bum, bum. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. 
There is the hole. Did I go through here yet? This is where I found Keeley. Ah. Uh, then what the freaking holy poo? Right there. This isn't it. Did I do this before? so lost. It's not here. This door that I'm trying to get in it still requires key. Okay. This is where I went in. Go back out, go on into there. Go out, go down. Can I get to there? I am going to put a marker right here. Wait, right there. Can I? Can I? Okay. I want to see what's on the other side of that freaking door. Wait. This is where I came from, right? I'm not even in the same section. That's not it either. This ain't in either. And nope. Wait, yep, that's it. This is the right floor. Well, oh, damn it. Where am I? If I can go to my left, no, yeah, go to my left, go around, no, can't go to the left. Okay, now I can go to the left, right here. Actually, it would be right now. right behind me this way that's the door okay so I've already been there <sighs> why I 
Unlocked. Now it unlocks. That's the one. Huh. That's weird. Okay. At least I got that out of the way. I thought I was missing something because I couldn't get through that freaking door. Second level. You're here. Ready to begin? Sure, how can I help? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Sounds dangerous, but I'll do it. Good. Return to me when it's done. Okay. So I know what I'm doing now. So, it's kind of a pain. I hope everybody else survives. Well, I guess they will. First of all, I need to get this info here. Download research data. See? Just because it doesn't shoot lasers doesn't mean it's not worth looking into. We can do amazing things with this data. Oh, okay. I, I thought she's the one that wanted the HEPA filter. Okay, so if you look, see the air? How it's weird right now? That means there's gas in here. Um, the only way that I know of to survive the black... Well, I probably could anyway. I gotta get everybody in here. Everybody. Well, you know what? I can call him. here yeah okay so now I need to get some kind of laser weapon this this should do or the flamer and I need to save so she released gas all through here that's supposed to burn up all the spores and all the plants and all that stuff well these plants never die but that's the the theory but I need to shoot and close this door like quick watch well I guess I guess I'm high enough high, high enough level that it didn't kill me <laughs> I played this before where it killed me almost instantly by doing this but yeah usually I could shoot and then close the door real quick and, and then it just blocks the blast but yeah anyway I guess I'm still alive so I'm good do I still have the regen thing going can't tell let me drink a sarsaparilla that always helps drink a couple mmm Do you have C4? No, I don't carry C4 with me. All right, let me save again. This is a little tricky, too, because I think I just need to convince her. She wants to destroy all the data. I think I can convince her not to destroy it. 
Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. What do you need to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Will, will it take long? No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments, and that's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Oh, yeah. I might have actually read them all. Um, actually, I copied the files. Sent me to get them. I did download some files earlier while exploring the vault. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. My friend is part of a group that can develop it into something safe everyone can benefit from. Are these files valuable? To someone, I'm sure. But they constitute a threat to life as we know it. Now give me your arm already. Stick my arm up your ass. Because you're not getting the files. Well, no, don't stick my arm up your ass, please. Um... I'm afraid I can't let you do that. My friend is part of a group that can develop it into something safe everyone can benefit from. Who am I talking about? This can't be Hilderman. Or whatever his name is. And the Brotherhood of Steel is not going to benefit fit everybody with it. Who else? The only people I could think of is the followers of the apocalypse but I haven't I don't I don't remember anyway let me say that first I suppose you've given me no reason not to trust you fine take the data and go I hope you know what you're doing I've unlocked the door so you're free to run along now I have no Although idea what I'm doing lady say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help if you're heading back toward McCarran tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well oh, Veronica yeah, but she's still a follower of the apocalypse, and she still has to do whatever the elders say. What's up? I talked to her about it at all. Not yet. All right, so we got the info here that we need. Let's get the flock out of here. And save. I haven't been doing it very long. But I like to punch stuff too. Maybe not as much as you do, but it is fun. <laughs> I like to Guess punch we have stuff that in too. Common, then. Think we have that in common? Where are they at? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Will, <laughs> do you hear what she was saying? She goes, "I haven't been doing it as long as you have, but I like to punch stuff too." Maybe I should get here one of the gloves. Um, what am I doing? Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I want to see. Okay, I guess my... My weight's okay. I was going to go back and dump off, off some stuff, but I don't really need to. So I'm going to go to... Actually, I want to do something else real quick. While I'm over on this side of the Mojave... There's another vault, not too far from here, that I want to go check out. I want to go shoot some things on the way. Just take a cross, cross country trip. Road trip. Road trip without a car. A 
foot trip. A trip I can f trip on. I wonder. Okay, I always liked word origins and trip. You know, going on a, on a trip and then tripping, like tripping over your own feet. Those words have got to have the same origin. But how? Think about it. What do they have in common? They're both moving. They're both going from one place to another. And then you f trip and fall. Or you're just continuing to go. So a road trip, you know, like going on a trip. It's got to be, got to be, got to be a common thing. I don't know. I'm still trying to think of it, and I can't think of anything that they have in common. Now, there should be some raiders right up here. Where's... There's... Sarsaparilla plant. So there's some raiders, like, right here. There they are. I see them. Let's see if I can do some headshots. Wow. I'm bad. Wow, I missed her. Oh, I got her. Her buddies are just still standing there. Okay, I got him riled up. Why isn't he dying? Two down. Oh, right in the knee. Right in the kneecap. What's up here, man? I don't know if I've ever been way up here. What the hell is up here? What is that? Is that... The ranger station? Um... What, Foxtrot? I think that's the ranger station. I don't think you can get to it this way. Oh, oh, I remember this place. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, did I get it? I was just... Oh, wait, he's got a buddy. Bring it. There's another one. Oh God, he's by me. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. You got that right, Jacko. Wow. That's worth a lot. Brewers beer bootlegging. Must be Brewer. No. Gro Gord. Gord? Hey, Gordy. I've been up here before, but I don't remember what's here. Mintets. Come on. Where's all the good mintats? Oh, Sarball Gap. There's a key to something. What was that key to? Gotta grab it too quick. I don't even know what the key's to now. Is there something in here that I can open? Was that a door?
This looks just like counterfeiter place, except for the count counterfeiter table's not over there. Brewery. Sunset sars sarsaparilla uh, alcohol? I don't think so. Sarsaparilla is not alcoholic. Nuclear moose. Strategic nuclear moose. And God said, let them have beer. <laughs> and on the first day, God created the darkness and the light. On the second day, he said, let them have beer. And then there was beer. Bam! Bam! Ooh, okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Bam! 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 Suitcase. I sit in here, huh? Okay. It's night time. The counter is at zero. Now it says two. Oh, watching? It says eight on my end. We the last two. Not sure. I think the bootleg place is mixed sarsaparilla. Oh, oh, oh god, I got another one. Just noticed something. I still have a marker. Right. I'm going to point this direction. Oh, whoa, who are you shooting at? Well, they're just coming out the woodwork, aren't they? Another egg. I'm going to point that direction and then look on the map. I think that's Foxtrot. Yep, exactly. I don't think you can get to it from here. Let's see if there's anything up here. I didn't go up here on my last playthrough. I know I, I I know I've been around this whole map one playthrough or another. And uh when I know I've went through here, but I just don't remember because it's been years since my first couple playthroughs. My very first playthrough, I know that I've been everywhere. My first playthrough, I spent so much time just exploring every inch of this map. Which 
you got here, man? Ooh, stuff. Ooh, heavy stuff, but I'll take it. Wow, all kinds of stuff. Mint at. It almost didn't come this way. I wouldn't have got that good duffel bag. Like Coke and whiskey? Aren't you only like 15, man? We should stay away from that stuff. Although Coke and whiskey is pretty good. When I was probably younger than you, man, my favorite, favorite drink was J Jack Daniels and Pepsi. So it's pretty much the same thing. I actually like Bacardi and Coke also, though. But I like... Okay, so there's a difference in Coke and Pepsi. Pepsi doesn't have that sweeter taste to it. I like Pepsi. If I'm going to drink just a soda, I love Pepsi. I don't even like the taste of Coke. But if I'm drinking a mixed drink, I like coke in my mixed drinks but for some reason jack daniels tastes better with pepsi it's my opinion but it is a scientific well documented exper experiment documented Conclusion. Does that make any sense at all? I don't know. But it does. Hey, lady. What the haps? Oop. Hey. You want to wear something sexy? Ooh, got something good for me? Oh. Is it a dress? Oh, yeah. It's a dress. You'll see. You'll see. What's up? Put it on. Take away that. That's not it. Why? 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 She won't put on the freaking Raider stuff. Oh. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? You know what I like to do? If, if you go to Wiki, you can find the item numbers of the clothes and and items that each companion wears or any any npc for that matter and you can go in and take away her hood and robe it's so much better and then you can put anything on her you can freaking put a bikini on her if you want There we go. Put it back on. Yeah, that's a hell of a lot better than that. Freaking ugly monk robe. What is wrong with you? There's the other guy. Well, you know what? Oh, it might be better if I do this. Wait, let me get to grab that. Where's the other dude? I think what it is is the... If you look on here, the DT, that's the damage threshold. It's only four. Okay, now if I go in here. Damn it. Ah, stupid, stupid, stupid. So that's four, and both of those are four. If I combine this one with these two, it's still only four. I thought that if I made it better, it would be higher. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Never mind. Too bad.
to Pepsi and all the popular stuff it is in its name include Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love Mountain Dew. My biggest problem nowadays is, though, is that I can't drink um, caffeine. I can't drink or eat or anything anything with caffeine in it. It really screws with my, my anxiety levels. I noticed it when I was in my 30s that any time I drink sodas, I would have a really bad anxiety problems. Heart palpitations, freaking cold sweats, all kinds of things, man. Uh, panic attacks. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Who's that? Who's throwing shit? Um, hey, so I just stopped drinking anything with... I could use some meat for cooking. Stop drinking anything with caffeine in it, except for if I'm drinking alcohol, then it doesn't seem to bother me as bad. So I can have regular Pepsi or regular Coke with alcohol, but normally I can't. And I'm just going to run in here. This is where Cook Cook is normally. I've had worse. You thought you could hide Yeah? Yeah? Come on! Where are you, lady? There she is. Bring it! Oh, oh. Who's shooting at? There's Cook Cook right there. I never did take his armor off. Oh. I still haven't made it to where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. Man, it's still a ways. I probably should have fast traveled. It's right over there. That's where I'm going. Hold, hold on a minute. I gotta go pee. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm coming back. Let me get through this gauntlet. There's, there's, there's a gauntlet over here. <laughs> Can't get past my, my. There's a like a small space between my bed and my recliner, so it gets in my way. Anyway, let me move this thing a little closer this way. Move it over there. Can you guys hear me? Let me um, tickle your ears or give you nightmares, whatever the case may be. Let me try something here. Let me turn the mic a little bit that way. And let's see, what do I want to play? Let me try. Let me try something here. Um, go over here. Hey, what's over there? Why is my why is my computer not working? There it goes. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's not it. Why is my computer not working? Wow. We go over here. This computer is getting funky. Why? Why? <laughs> okay. Try this. Okay. First time ever trying this outside of karaoke. So let's try. Let's try. I don't even know what the chords are anymore. I see a red door and I want it painted black no colors anymore I want them to turn black I'll see the girls go by dressed in their summer clothes I have to turn my head until the darkness goes I see a line of cars and they're all painted black with flowers and my love, both never to come back. I see people turn their heads and quickly look away. Like newborn babies, it just happens every day. I look inside myself and see my heart is black. No colors in it. What the hell? My phone's beeping. Oh, wow. Ah, sorry about that. My alarm. Where was I? No, I see my red door and I want it painted black. Maybe then I'll fade away and not have to face the facts. It's not easy living up when your whole world is black. Frickin' buzzer just threw me completely off. No more will my green seas turn a deeper shade of blue. I could not foresee this thing happening to you. If I look hard enough into the setting sun, my love will laugh with me before the Anymore, I want them to turn black. I see the girls go by dressed in their summer clothes. I have to turn my head until the darkness goes. Now, 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 Black as coal, I want to see the sun Flooding out from the sky I want to see it painted, 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 painted black Yeah! Now, 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 now Okay.
Okay, one more before I get back into the game. See what? Um, okay, this is something weird and old. But I like it. It's cool. Let's see. Love me tender. Love me dear. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Love me tender. Love me sweet. Never let me go. You have made my life complete. And I. Love you so, love me tender, love me true, all my dreams fulfill, for my darling I love you, and I always will, love me tender, love me long, take me to your heart. For it's there that I belong and never gone apart. Love me tender, love me true, all my dreams fulfill. For my darling, I love you and I always will. Love me. Love me tender, love me true, all, all my dreams fulfill, for my darling, I love you, and I always will. Ah. Screwed the ending of that up, but yeah, buddy. <laughs> I love, love me tender. <laughs> yeah. Oh, L O L, love me tender. Okay. Yeah, my 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 son's girlfriend said that that's one of her favorite songs, and I said, well, I'll sing it at your wedding, and there was no comment about that, but. Maybe by the time they get married in November, I'll learn it good enough so I can sing it at their wedding. If, if me and Darcy can make it back here at that time. Anyway, that was fun. Big Iron. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to learn that one, man. That would be fun. Um, let's see. I mean, I understand that some people don't want caffeine, but Coca-Cola and Pepsi, you know sodas like that are in and have caffeine in them, and that's why they're popular. Yeah, I, I just, I'm kind of allergic to it or something. I don't know what the problem with me with caffeine is. Um, two sodas that I miss hella bad. Okay, so Pepsi. You can find caffeine-free Pepsi that's not diet. That's the screwed up thing, is that most caffeine-free shit is also diet shit. But Pepsi has a caffeine-free Pepsi that's not diet. So I can, I can find that, and that's pretty good. Um, Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper were two of my favorite, favorite sodas before I stopped drinking caffeine. And they're, they have no substitute for non-caffeinated stuff, except 
Dr. Pepper has a, a generic brand called Mr. Pib, or Dr. Pib, or is that what it's called? Dr. Pib, something like that, that, that's actually decaffeinated. But Mountain Dew, you can't even find a decaffeinated Mountain Dew. And that, that really sucks, because that used to be one of my favorite, favorite freaking drinks, soda-wise. Pale Sing It, one of my favorite Rolling Stones tunes. Yeah, I used to do that in karaoke all the time, and I, I finally learned it on guitar, but I still get mixed up on the chords sometimes because there's a lot of chord changes in it. But, yeah, I love that song. Um, Marty Rothman's Big Iron. Yeah, I don't, I, I'd like to learn that one, but nope. Can't, can't do it now. Love Me Gender. <laughs> See, he's saying love me gender. I don't think I said, unless unless I was slurring my words, I wouldn't doubt that. But no, love, love me gender, love my dong, make it big and hard. Oh, <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't, don't think I was singing that. But that would, that would actually be a, a good variation of that song to do a like a like a perverted weird al yankovich version of that song yeah <laughs> anyway let me get back to the game man it's been a while you know pell have a good time when he busts out the guitar <laughs> not too often i even bring out the guitar anymore jesus that's loud i didn't know i didn't know it was that loud Okay, so I joined a Fallout Lost New Vegas stream, and you're talking about soda? Oh, oh, just Jason. Hey, welcome, man. I'm back to the game. Sorry. I was, we were talking about caffeine earlier. Actually, we were talking about alcohol earlier because I rarely drink, and tonight I'm a little bit buzzed. And uh, somebody mentioned coke and i mentioned that i can't drink caffeine except for when i'm drinking alcohol i guess i can is that all of them i don't think Vi viola or violet are here anymore oh there's something over here Do you have any hide? Hide is good to sell. I, I it. Next, he starts puking during. I don't think so. I very rarely puke. Even when I was an alcoholic, I very rarely puked. There was times, though. There was a couple times. I, Back when I was about 25, I remember one time where I used to drink. A, I, I drink in the bar. I go to this bar. I drink in the bar. And I would. there was a liquor store right next door to the bar. And I go to the liquor store and buy... A big bottle of peppermint schnapps. And I think it's because of the sweetness of the schnapps. Um, I would. I think the sweetness of it would freaking it turn. I remember the one time, I freak it turned my stomach, and I was outside. I used to go. I I go behind the bar, and I would just stick the the bottle up on this um, this electric meter and uh then about every half hour or so i go out there and take a drink and i went out there one time with a friend of mine and i freaking took a big old guzzle off of it i buy a big bottle like a freaking fifth of it and i took a big guzzle off of it and i i guess it's because i had had an eight or something uh my stomach turned and i just freaking puked man 
<laughs> and there was a, luckily there was a faucet there. I went to the faucet, washed my freaking mouth out, washed my face, went into the liquor store, bought some freaking certs, <laughs> and ate a few freaking certs, and went back right back into the bar. It, it didn't bother me one bit. I didn't I didn't miss a freaking beat, man. Went back in, ordered another beer, and started drinking a beer. I didn't buy buy the schnapps inside the bar because it was too freaking expensive. This is where I'm going right here, ain't it? Yep. Okay, this is freaking crazy. This is a pr pretty crazy part. Now, why is there a something over this way? Where are you going? Oh, God, she's going after the freaking powder gangers. Are we all dead? Okay. Hey, second chills. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell you got there? Is that a firecracker? What are you doing with that firecracker? She's got a smile on her face. I don't know what she's doing with that firecracker. Nothing there that's any good. I don't think he's ever puked during a stream, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Last, like last night when he was reading a comment and disappeared on him. Oh, sh oh, Jess, uh, Jesse's the one that freaking did that. Yeah. No, I, I have a rock gut, man. Rock gut? Rock gut? <laughs> a rock gut? That didn't sound right. Whoa! What are you doing in the hay, lady? And why do you have that pitchfork? You're going to freaking fend off all them freaking redneck boys that are after you, huh? Better fend them off. And she's painting her little red rooster. And that is definitely a euphemism for something Woohoo! okay we made it out okay there is another marker on the map over this way I think it's the other entrance okay so see that cave that I was in over there there's two entrances to this vault I want to go through that one, but I'm going to go over here and get this other one on the map first. Wow, I'll take all that. It's good to get everything on the map. Got a rock gut. Is that what I said a minute ago? I got a rock gut. Isn't it isn't the expression rot gut? Like you can eat anything without it hurting you? I think it's rot gut. Oh hey, there's all the Look at look at look look at look at look at look at look at it. 
Death Claws. Did I hit him? I don't think I even hit him. I think I'm too far away. Why is... I'm not hitting him. This, this rifle should be freaking good enough. Okay, I pissed off somebody. Okay, Deathclaw after me. This is not good. This is not good. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Where's your freaking buddies? Oh, there they are. Why did she not go down? She? You assume to know my gender? Love my gender, love me f true. All my claws will kill. For my darling, I love you. And I'll make you bleed and explode in my face. Come on. What? Say what? I'm going to jump up on this thing. I'll get, I'll get him from up here. See, is that jump? Yeah, let's jump. Get up here. Let's let's crouch. Oh, headshot. Abominable perk rank 3. Okay. Oh yeah. Your head exploded. Like a freaking juicy pimple. Wow. I, I wish I wish I could get on a keyboard. Oh, there we go. Is there anybody else around here that needs to be shot? Okay, we're ready. Let's go back. Whoa! Whoa! I'm excited. Little premature shoot shootilation. Red rooster. <laughs> a little red rooster. There was a song about that back in the in the forties or fifties. It was an old blues song called Little Red Rooster. By I'm wanting to say Howlin' Wolf, but it might be, it could be Jimmy Reed, or it could be anybody, to tell you the truth. I'm wanting to say Howlin' Wolf, though, for some reason. Oh, God. You guys are, like, everywhere. Are you behind me again? Wow. Oh, hey. Look at that. Okay, if you look on down on the bottom right, that's the XP going up. Since I already hit the the level cap. I don't want to go up there yet. Since I already hit the level cap. I've been Resetting my level every time I get to the level cap. Oh. But every time I reset it, it takes a little longer for it to. Okay, see, see how it says 49. Oh, God. It disappeared. Next time it comes up. Okay. There we go. See, it says 49 at the left side and 50 at the right side. Um, it's supposed to go up a little bit each time. But every time I go up a level, it seems like it takes a little bit longer for that to actually start going up. See, it's going up a little bit every time now. Every time I shoot something, it's going up a little bit. But for a long time, it wasn't going up at all. Oh, 
these are fire geckos, aren't they? Oh, yeah, buddy. Um, that's not a fire gecko, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. But yeah, it took a long time for it, for each time I level up or or advance a level and then have to reset it. It takes a little bit longer for it to actually start kicking in again. Uh, it takes a long time sometimes. Okay, here's the vault. This is vault 19. This is the back back way in. Damn it! Hey! Hey, Willow! Willow! Where'd she go? Willow! 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 Hey there. Oh, you sound enthused. I think she's getting sick of me. Thank you. How many do you have for me? I got all of them. That's it? That's it? Don't show me some love or something. God. Rude. Rude. Oh, hey. Come from, bastard. Sneak up behind me. Bastard. Biatch. Hey, see you later, Blue. Yeah, I'm running a little late tonight, huh? I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The others kept telling me not to worry, but I feel it's it sometimes. I think there's something in here with us. I can always hear weird noises coming from above my room okay so right there this is the first clue of what's going on in this vault remember that i'm going to clear out this vault i'm going to do this vault before i finish tonight what time is it let's see let me find out i'm wanting to finish this vault i got it i got an hour before 12. So I'm, I'm going to probably keep going until I finish this vault. It could take me a half hour, maybe 45 minutes. But I want to do this vault because it's kind of interesting. And it doesn't have anything to do with any of the other storylines. It's its own self-contained story arc that has nothing to do with anything else. But it can help you out later in the game if you do it a certain way. So it's it's a pretty cool little experiment, you know, like all the different vaults do different experiments. So this one's kind of kind of cool. Um, the others keep telling me not to worry, but I feel it's something, or, or I feel it sometimes. I think there's something in here with us. I can always hear weird noises coming from above my room. So remember that. That's the first clue that there's something a little off about this place. There's something a little off about you too. But you're so cute. I'll let you slide. in here nothing here nothing here okay um 
You know what, Veronica? Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? I wish I had a dress for you, man. I really do. But no, I don't have a dress. But I will give you a bunch of crap. <laughs> a bunch of little craps that you can call dresses. Oh, I hope she doesn't start using this crap. I'm giving her some bad stuff. Probably should have doubled up on some of that shit. Holding you. I held everything. Well, I don't want to give her this shit. She'll wear it. Will she wear that? Maybe not. I haven't been picking up... Oh, wait. I haven't been picking those up. How about the... Eggs. There we go. I only got eight, eight of those. Wait, four legs don't weigh anything. That didn't weigh anything either. We pre-war money. We have a couple of those. Okay, that helps. Aw, you shouldn't have. It's just my taste. Thank you. <laughs> you shouldn't have. It's just my taste. I gave her a bunch of crap. Okay, you need to hold on to something else, dude. This. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Let's go this way. Shall we? Alexi, hey, welcome back. Weren't you here at the start of the stream? You disappeared for a while. You forgot all about us. Didn't you? Didn't you? Tunnel to Vault 19. Nope, don't want to go there yet. Hey. No mama in uh -oh. here? Oh, there he is. What was that? Oh, God, girl. I gave her freaking dynamite, didn't I? She's throwing dynamite. See, look at this. Activate micro lean rock. I can't do that yet. I hope she doesn't blow shit up. Freaking give her some micro lean. Wait, maybe, wait, that didn't come out right, did it? It's actually a mega lean. Okay. Forget I said micro. It is mega. I swear. Okay, so we've been here before. So we're going this way. Wait, where are we? That I no, I, I I'm supposed to go in in that way. I am supposed to go in that way, ain't I? Wait, maybe I'm supposed to go in the other way. Let me go the other way. There's two two ways. Where am I, man? There's two ways into the vault. And that was one of them that I just was at. There's actually two ways that way. I'm lost. 
Oh, this is the way. This is the way in, right here. There's four ways in. This is one of them. This is the right way, I think. <laughs> I don't remember. Last My last playthrough, I forgot all about this vault. I didn't even do this the last playthrough. I've done it every other playthrough, but I didn't do it the last playthrough for some freaking reason. I forgot all about it. Power fist. Okay, activate elevator to vault 19 overseer. Okay, so I can go to the right straight to the overseer. Or I think this goes into the vault proper. That's just where I was at a minute ago. Okay, I can go to the overseer that way, but there's another way in this way, right? Yeah, over there. Okay. So this just took me right around in a circle, which is one that way, that way, and then there's the other way up above. Wow, there's a real weird glitch right here. Look, look, look. Some glitchy shit going on. Yeah, you need about five C4s to blow the rocks up. Yeah, I remember that part. Oops. Let's see what now? Um, you, yeah, you need about five C4s to blow the rocks up and when you do don't choose the option where the it destroys everything and everyone because it i'm sure if you do that then you can't get back in the vault i like destroying the vault now i i've did that before i've did did this a couple different ways the option that I like doing is you can settle things between them. There's two... Okay, so we'll find out in a minute. There's two different factions in here. And they're both... Um, I'm pretty sure they're both great cons. Maybe. Or maybe they're... Maybe they're powder gangers. I don't remember. We'll find out in a minute. But anyway, there's the when you find out what the experiment is in the vault, which we'll find out in a minute, you have some options. And one of the options is to settle things. And then you can tell every... The, there's two leaders, one for each faction. And you can tell them that they can go to the... That you're good friends with the if you are good friends I don't even know what's what's my affiliation with the great cons I'm liked I'm not oh god I'm I guess liked is okay I don't know if I it's high enough though Okay, we'll, we'll find out in a minute. I'm not going to completely spoil it all. We'll find out. Get a drink. Did you complete dead money already? Alex Ander Frozen. Hey, welcome to the stream. Um... No, I haven't actually did Dead Money yet. I've did, I've did two of the DLCs and haven't done the other two. 
I did um, Honest Hearts and Old World Blues, but I haven't done Dead Money or um, Lonesome Road yet. I'm in the process of doing the Great Con or no, um, Brotherhood of Steel quest. After the Brotherhood of Steel quest, though, that I'll I'll be doing dead money. Anyway, it's powder gangers. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it might be. wasn't positive though. But you can send them to the Great Cons though. You can tell them. I, I I'm not. I don't know if I have a high enough affiliation with the Great Cons yet though. That's my problem. If you have a high enough affiliation with the Great Cons. You can tell them to go to the Great Cons, and that solves a lot. There we go. One, two, try. Here's one of the leaders. I should, probably shouldn't have came this freaking way. Probably should have went the other way. Okay. Hey, hey. Lim. You're not one of us. What do you want? What's going on around here? Fucking Cook has us trapped here. After we escaped from an NCR prison. He dragged us around the wasteland until we ended up in this shithole. Oh! A group of us want to leave. Go back to the NCR and surrender. But Cook won't let us. Okay, this reminds me. Okay, Samuel Cook. If you do the... The Powder Ganger quests... Um, even, even without doing the Powder Ganger quests, you can talk to different people about the Powder Gangers. Um, like... Like... Uh, the dude that you can get to to be the sheriff of Prim. This playthrough, I didn't do that. I can't remember what his name is now. God, I can't remember what his name is. But this this playthrough, I didn't do it. I did the robot. You, you have three options to for sheriffs of, of Prim. One's the robot, and one's one of the NCR prisoners, or um, the convicts. The powder ganger prisoners. Actually, he's not really a powder ganger. He's an ex sheriff of some town that got busted for doing some unethical stuff. I guess probably, probably police brutality, and got sent to prison. But he's the guy that I usually pick for the for the sheriff of Prim. Now you could also do the NCR and have them just take over the town, um, like martial law type shit um this time i did prim but i did i didn't really even mess with the the prisoners this time around a whole lot but um when you talk to them and you talk even talk to that sheriff dude you could ask him about what happened at the prison and they talk about samuel cook who was the leader of the powder gangers that actually started the revolt that that took over the prison so here we go who's samuel cook cook organized the breakout but he's just an over ambitious prick who's going to get us all killed why were you in prison i made my living sneaking into ncr camps looking for shit to steal i got sloppy and then i got caught how did you get out Made it out during Cook's big prison break, like the rest of the guys here. Who's Cook? Samuel Cook. It was his idea to organize a jailbreak, but now he's just an overambitious prick who's going to get us all killed. I kind of said that before. Tell me about the prison break. I can be pretty sneaky when I need to be, and the prison guards were a joke. So when Cook told me his plan, I spread the info to anyone that might be useful. 
Tell me about Cook. Cook is just an overambitious. We already heard all this crap. Okay, goodbye. Okay, this is one of the leaders. YouTube is screwing my stream, and my stream is like, oh, please don't screw me. But they're doing it anyway. So I'm 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 saying that that is is online rape. If my stream does not want to get screwed and they keep screwing it, we should do something about that. We should get up in arms with pitchforks and torches and hose. Not not the hose that stand on the corner, but you know, like like garden hose. And 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 go stand outside YouTube and Count Comcast's office and act like freaking pissed off villagers that are after Frankenstein. Anyway, okay, so I was trying to read this before my stream crashed on me. A group of technicians have been assigned to run the reactor. They are currently researching methods to improve the reactor's efficiency. The reactor floor is full fully staffed and completely self-sustained the only access between the vault proper and the reactor level is through the elevator hidden under the desk in this room currently the password to open this passage is hacienda oh wait Has hacienda I ass synth whatever that is um, please change this password a blah 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 has not been informed of the research being undertaken in the lower levels okay so from what we learned about this Was it some kind of paranoia going on? And it must be induced by non-chemical means. Non through non-violent and non-chemical means. Um, we'll find out. So yeah, I think I can get through here. The other guy should be on this side. Uh, cook, cook. Okay, so that's limp. No, he's on over here. That's Lim and Cook's. Cook Cook's over here. Not Cook Cook. Cook Cook's the fiend, dude. Now, this is the powder ganger. His name's Cook. Samuel Cook. There he is. Hey. Who the hell are you? I know you weren't one of the inmates. I'm your mama. I'm here to tell you your papa is an asshole. And you should go shoot him for me, please. What got you so worked up? That coward Lim has been talking about surrendering to the NCR. Now the men are confused, not sure who's leading this gang. Fucking idiots. Who's Lim? He was an inmate like the rest of us. He was useful during the jailbreak, but now he's just another coward. He wants us to leave the vault and hand our asses to the NCR, as if they treat us like human beings. Long live Le YouTube Revolution. Tell me about the prison break. A beautiful thing. Saved a little blast powder here, hit a makeshift weapon there, and one day I orchestrated a little symphony for the NCR. So what brought you to this place? Heard there was an abandoned vault along this mountain ridge, and that the wildlife here had teeth big enough to keep the NCR away. Why is this area so dangerous? It's a fucking death trap around here. Fiends swarm all over Vault 3 in the east, and there are fucking death claws south of that at Quarry Junction. If you're looking for humans, the cons are north of us, and there's an NCR base at McCarran past Vault 3. Supposedly, there are Sam to Cook. the southeast. <laughs> yeah, let's just play some Motown for us, dude. Tell me about the fiends. Like raiders, but worse. These guys are messed up on every damn Kim there is. You can spot them by the horn skulls they wear as hats. Your mama's messed up on Kims. Quarry Junction. The NCR has been mining there for a while, but now it's full of death claws. Don't go there unless you want a quick, bloody death. Your mama's full of death claws. Uh, super mutants. I've heard the muties there are different. 
completely insane, and supposedly they use some kind of invisibility technology. I'd stay away. Your mom is completely insane. Tell me about Camp McCarran. It's the main base for the NCR, and a breeding ground for oppression in the name of patriotic bullshit. Do humanity a favor and blow it up. Your mom is patriotic bullshit. Why do you hate the NCR so much? Their republic is a joke. They're a bunch of tyrants led by an even greater tyrant, that idiot Kimball. They think they have the right to annex every inch of dirt in the West and force their system on every man, woman, and child. Your mama annexed every inch. Let's talk about something else. What do you want to know? Tell me about Lim. He was an inmate like the rest of us. We already heard that. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Can we move this thing? It's got to be something under here. There, if, you, if you notice. Okay, so this is one clue to some freaking... Oh, excuse me. How come I'm burping? I usually hick burp. I'm just regular burping. Anyway, this is one clue that, that there's something really funky going on in this vault. Okay, so... If you ever notice, all the overseer's offices look like this. They have this rounded looking desk with the computer terminal thing in the back right here. Uh, they might have other things in here besides that, but most of them have this vault or this desk and, and they lift up like the one in the other room. But if you look here, there's one here and there's one here. And this one actually lifts up. So there's two overseer's offices in this vault. Unlike any other vault ever. I think this is the way you get through the other way. Let me see. Wait. Activated somewhere else. This fault reminds me Apple Company with Steve made Macintosh team two competing teams with paranoia. Yeah. Pretty 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 much. Yeah, it's Steve Jobs and and this other guy, Wozniak. Okay, so this goes to that other that parking lot that I saw earlier, right? I probably should have came through this way. Okay, let's go check out the rest of the vault. Um, I can't remember what's over this way. Oh, yeah. This vault gives me the creeps. No way I'm going back to prison. Now there's a fine-looking woman. Just needs to ditch the road. What? Oh, hey, where is my freaking peoples? I lost my peoples. He was talking about fine looking woman if she ditched the robes. Oh, crap. I lost my peoples before here. Where's the dog? Okay, I'm going to go in through the other opening then. There he is. Let's get the flock out of here, peeps. Come on. Oh, it's nighttime. He lost a parade. I lost all my peeps, man. Are they with me? Where are they at? Oh, God. I bet you they freaking came out the other opening. This is the problem. Oh, okay, Willow's with me. Oh, hey, there's... I, 
I, I remember there being some bugs with this place. Where is Veronica? Okay, let me go in this way and see if she shows up. There she is. Okay, good. You ready? Everybody here? My twinsies. Are you here? Everybody's here now. Okay, so this is where I was a while ago. Let's put this away before I shoot somebody. Okay, this is where I was talking to everybody. Did I talk to you yet? I'd kill you right now if I could. You would? You would now, try. A fine looking woman. Just needs to ditch the robe. <laughs> She's not wearing robes, dude. Clinic. What are you wearing? Damn, running low on smokes again. said that if you're eyeballable I might be there's probably a reason if I am oh this is the okay so this tells a little bit about what's going on here this is the doctor's office medical area whatever um, there's a couple hollow tapes around here somewhere. Oh, there's all these patient hollow tapes. There's one. Yep. Patient. One six eight seven eight six five. There you go. Often interprets others' actions as hostile. He perceives friendly interactions with nurses as patronizing. We've also noticed that the longer our patients remain in contact with him, the more readily they are to act aggressively towards him due to his defensive nature, thus reinforcing his previous hostility. So if he's around somebody, he gets aggressive, but just being around him makes other people aggressive. And because both of, both parties become aggressive, it just escalates the aggression. And here's another patient. Age 34, patient brought in by the police. This is the ninth occurrence of such, and we are now seeking extended residence for the patients within our facility. It's more than that in here. I think, oh, there's another one, see? Um, female, 24, patient came seeking treatment for panic attacks. Patient claims to often experience moments of extreme terror out of nowhere and that they often wake her from her sleep. And another one. 
Mail 22. Patient came to use to us. I think that means us. Claiming to be insane. They misspelled that. Patient claimed to claimed he would often get the feeling of being outside himself. This feeling was so intense that it would cause the patient to be off balance during episodes. Navigation through the clinic often difficult for him to achieve without causing incident. Is that all of them? Oh, there's another one. Mail 27. Patient brought in by police. Patient claimed to be hearing voices taunting him. Patient claimed that he, at one point, believed these voices were coming from the grandfather's from his grandfather's radio. The patient now believes that the voices are coming from within himself and he is eager for help. So, so far everybody's paranoid about from one thing or the other. Empty syringe. There's at least one more in here. I don't see any more. I'll look under things. It's sometimes hard to see all of them. Okay. Need. Okay, this is blue sector key required and there's a red sector over here it also says key required I need to find the keys oh 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 my sneaks all the way up ain't it I remember I gotta freaking steal them from somebody Running up, it's low on snacks. <laughs> Blue sector card. All right, let's try. I need. I got a blue. I need a red. He hid for a second there. Dog, you're in my way. You're not helping. If you want to be in my way, just freaking try to help a little bit. Ah. Hidden. Hidden. Get on my way, JT. JT. He has blue. I already have blue. I need red. Oh, shit, I was detected. He's got red. Alright. Got both the cards. I didn't think of trying that guy. He wasn't even around anybody. Okay, let's go through... Red Sector first. After me, won't have it easy. K. 
caps. Hey, what do you got up here there? Bobby pins. Red sector card. I thought I was in red sector. Oh well. Never gets old when something blows up. Message from the overseer. Greetings, residents. We regret to inform you that there is a problem with one of the water purification filters. We assure you that we are working diligently to fix the problem. However, until the filter has been fixed, please try to keep water usage limits limited and report directly to the clinic if you begin to feel ill in any way. So I think that... Okay, the, I think the overseers know what's going on. And that's why they're saying to report to the clinic if you feel ill in any way because they're starting the, the experiment and they want anybody that feels funny to report to the clinic so they can get you know data on what's going on journal entry 74 I can hear noises through the intercom sometimes dad says we can't hear it but he can't hear it but I can. It's usually high-pitched and sometimes I can hear a voice, but I can't make out the words. Mom says it's my imagination and that I should, shouldn't talk about it, that it might worry people, but I've talked to some of the other kids and they say they, they've heard it too. So there is something going on here. And if you can tell, it's something to do with sound so far. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember the whole experiment. I know it's something that irritates people. Better be sleeping with one eye open. Better be sleeping with one eye open. See, these guys in here are paranoid. And if, if, Oh, also... These messages that we're reading on here are from the original inhabitants not not these um, powder gangers that are here now the original inhabitants from the original experiment of the vault are experiencing some weird experiments so see what this one says message from overseer to inform you that blah 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 water uses the same thing okay another journal entry i've been asking around there is no reason for these filters to fail it must have been sabotage there's a rumor going around that one of the reds did it it wouldn't surprise me Whenever I walk by a group of them in the cafeteria, they all start whispering. I bet they're plotting out what do what to do next. Okay, so I thought I was in the red sector. I guess I'm in the blue sector. Could have, could have sworn I was in the red sector. Okay, so the blue sector is starting to get paranoid about the red sector rumors around one of the red sectors did it uh, whenever he walks by one of them they start whispering so he thinks that they're plotting something Regular potato chips? Huh. If you ever look inside here. Okay, so those say potato chips. Look at the box. It says potato chips. Also, 
This junk food says the same thing. So it's potato chips and junk food are exactly the same thing. I didn't notice that before. Probably have before, but I just didn't remember. Huh. Okay. Another journal entry. I haven't been able to sleep lately. One of the blues, he's always creeping around by the security door. And I think he's trying to get in. Okay, so I, I think I'm in, I'm in the red sector. It's just some of these entries are from blue blue sector and some of them are from red, red sector. And for some reason, this is pitting the blue sector against the red sector. And I can't remember why yet. Um, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that's the first one I was in. And that one. Nothing else. No. Lem wants to run back to the NCR and turn himself in, spineless bastard. Well, Lem wants to turn himself in, spineless bastard. It doesn't say what set. Living quarters. Wait a minute. Okay, so I am in red sector. Lim must be blue sector. Lim's the leader of the blues, and Cook's the leader of the reds, I guess. So this is Cook's We've got side. Some new sheriff watching over the town now. Some of the blues caused some tr trouble in the clinic today. I bet they were stealing drugs. I've heard the vents coming. The vents come coming on lately at night. Others have too, and I bet they are using the drugs to poison us, stealing supplies from the clinic and trying them to kill us all using them to kill us all damn it no i know i know the truth the commotion at the clinic it was a trick the doctor must be giving them the drugs and she must be in on it she never leaves the office it must be because of the poison being pumped through the vents her office must be the only one that is safe. Living quarters. expecting you guys you guys slow down there is mines everywhere I can see one from here oh I remember this area okay go back to here came in here shooting at oh yeah my first playthrough I was collecting 
pool balls. I remember coming in here and grabbing all the pool balls. I had a shitload of pool balls. All over the... The, uh... All over the room at the at the motel in Novak. I just throw them all over the floor, man. I had shitloads of them, like about fifty freaking pool balls all over the place. Play. Good night, man. I'm probably running way late, huh? I wanted to finish this stupid thing. I was trying to trying to get it done. Before it got too late. I'm probably running real late, man. to get this done because I'm not going to be playing this game again until like Thursday. So I want to at least get this this vault done. Okay, another entry. I saw the Reds Overseer. See, there is two Overseers. There's a Red red Overseer and a, and a blue one. Okay, so I saw the Reds Overseer walking around on the floor last night. He looked like he was searching for something and he was mumbling to himself. I saw one of the guys in the mess hall pull a bottle off the sun, Sunset Sarsaparilla, a bottle cap off the Sunset, sunset Sarsaparilla and then run to his room. I knew he was hiding something so I broke into the room when he wasn't there and saw the bottle cap. It had a blue star underneath it. I think he's been marking, marked for something, but I can't figure out what. All I know is I want that bottle cap. Oh, so that bottle cap's around here. I can remember. I don't need any star bottle caps, but remember that did I just go around in a circle Oh, here we go. Jackpot. There is the star bottle cap. I think the they're in my head. Sometimes I hear thoughts not my own. I think the Reds have done something to the intercom system, rigged it somehow to broadcast into my brain. What does it mean? 
why is there a blue star bottle cap or blue star under my bottle cap oh, so this must be the room of the dude that had the bottle cap in the first place are the reds behind this so the reds that red dude thought that this guy was getting a message from the bottle cap and, and this guy thinks that the reds are behind it this is part is this part of their mind control they must be making me see something uh, see things now things that shouldn't be there the star shouldn't be there why do I see the star <laughs> thinks he's hallucinating it won't go away no matter how long I close my eyes it won't go away I want the star to go away Okay, dude. Chill. Smoke a doobie or something. Unless it makes you paranoid like it does me. Then don't smoke one. Yeah, that's 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 weird all in itself. Elevator. I'm kind of lost right now. First floor. Is that what I when I, I came in? I went here. Went right. This isn't right. can't be the way I came in to blue sector oh oh I'm freaking lost man I'm so lost that's blue sector where is that freaking auditorium area Okay, that's back to the area that I came in. What the hell? Oh, okay, I think I know what's going on. Okay. There they are. Wait a minute. Where the hell am I? I'm so lost. I think I'm in the blue sector now. I couldn't sleep a few nights ago, so I stayed up reading around 1.30 in the morning. The vents above my head began to push out more air. Wow, I got like less than 10 minutes for before 12 o'clock I don't think I'm going to finish this tonight why is everyone so quiet it looks like most people went to sleep what system are you on I'm on a PC. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to chat. I've been trying to get this all done so that I can um, get done for the night. It's running. I'm running really late. I couldn't sleep. Feel nice, blah blah. blah. It lasted for about five minutes, and it turned off. Excuse me. I did not think much of it at the time but I was troubled I had trouble falling asleep again last night once again around 1 30 a.m. the vents turned on for about five minutes then turned off what is so unusual about vents turning off and on these guys are so paranoid 
the vents turning off and on might have something to do with giving you some air to breathe. You're in a friggin' vault. I've been getting headaches. I think someone is poisoning us. I've been up every night this week and night after night an extra boost of air comes through the vents at last and it lasts for about five minutes and then turns off. I spoke with one of the neighbors. He said he noticed the same thing in his room as well. We made a report to the maintenance officer. He informed us that the system was running perfectly and that there was nothing to worry about. I don't believe him. Maybe he's in on it. Okay, so but this is kind of true. They're, they're, I think they are doing something through the vents. But I don't understand what the hell's going on here. Living quarters, wasteland, sulfur caves. Have you read the logs on the computers? Locked up shit. Thought I checked everything here. Hey, gumdrops. I wonder if I'm in the blue sector now. Wait, did that say anything? It says first floor, that's all it says. Two living quarters, two living quarters. Wasteland, sulfur caves. I don't know where I'm at. That's where I came in at, right? Living quarters. Oh, I was in living quarters. Oh. I'm so lost. Damn, running low on smokes again. Wow, there's too many of them here. I don't trust that doctor. She has bodyguards. What kind of doctor has bodyguards? I've seen the guards bringing her meals. I don't think she ever leaves her office. There's always one posted outside at night, too. I wonder what she's hiding. I've been working with a friend. He's been trying to hack into the doctor's com doc's computer, and so far we haven't been, had much luck. It took some convincing, but I finally got him to show me what he found in the doc's computer. He was right. I wouldn't like it. The patient's files looked like those from an asylum. The patient's names were all in code, but some of them seem to fit the people around us. But they can't be us. I don't remember being insane. I think I would remember something like that. But it must be true. It explains the doc's doctor's behavior and the bodyguards. I don't know why I can't remember. It must be that doc doctor. Maybe she's drugged us. I need to get into that office. Maybe I'm insane. Maybe it isn't happening. Maybe the war never happened and maybe I'm just trapped in my head. It took some doing, but a few of us got together and managed to distract the people in the clinic long enough for me to get in and do some looking around. I found restraints and enough sedatives to kill a horse. She must be using them to control us, to make us forget. We, we're we just pawns in her sick game. We confronted the doctor today. She refused to give us any information and we were thrown out of the clinic some of us quite literally we tried talking to the overseer but acted as if he didn't know anything about it I d don't believe him 
I don't trust him, and I don't trust any of them. Okay, the plot thickens. Did I finish this one? Yeah. I've been there. I gotta start. Never get so. I killed you right now if I could. I'd kill you right now if I could. Wait, I've only been in two rooms. That one and this one. What, why is this one open? I haven't been this way yet. Prim's got some new sheriff watching over. Yep, I haven't been here. Door's just open. Okay. I've been reading the bulletin and boards for months now. I believe we have a spy among us. One of the red pretending to be a blue. They were <clears throat> using the bulletin board to communicate. I believe they want me to see it. I've noticed one of the lights flickering past the door in the red hallway. I believe it is Morse code, it to be Morse code. From what I can tell, it's an SOS. Okay. We believe you. sector okay might as well Did everybody come come on ladies yeah, they're getting locked out One of them made it. Let's try that again. Oh, wait. Where'd she go? Anyway. I'm so mixed up in here. Okay, so I'm in the blue sector. I think I'm going to stop here. Oh, there she is. I'm going to stop here and continue here the next time, man. It is taking me way too long. I, I know it's probably after midnight here now <sighs> running way too late so let me check out chat again real quick I'm still awake from my in my little corner of the world yeah I know it's getting late I'm sorry why won't you play until Thursday because I'm playing other games I play um, tomorrow night Let's see Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I play uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. And then Wednesday, I'll play uh, L.A. Noir, and then I'll be playing this again on Thursday. It is Saturday tonight, right? So, yeah. So, yep. Sorry about that. It's going to be Thursday before I get back to this. But, t like I said, tomorrow night, I'm going to be playing... Shadow of War at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sorry it played so late. Narcosis, lack of air causes insanity. That's what's happening. I think Cook wanted you to kill all the geckos before you blow up the rock with the C4. No worries, pale. I'm a night owl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. I'll probably be up for three or four more hours. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow night with Shadow War. Um, till then, leave a like, share, subscribe, check out the links below. Support my channel if you can with PayPal or Patreon. Also, very new, 
as of today i am selling merch check it out the link is in the description below also the url is above oh hey horse i didn't see you what's up man ha ah. eo but yeah um that's teesprings.com pale rider 559 uh, also in the description below you can probably see it if you just look at the bottom of your screen um, the blue link if well I guess if you're in the the nighttime uh, game mode but yeah check it out man you might like it it's got my logo dude on a on a either a black or gray shirt I, if anybody wants a different color shirt let me know I could probably put it on there um, all proceeds and profits from from the shirts and the coffee mug will be going towards um, a new controller and some different games so uh, yeah it'll all go back into my channel and I don't spend any of the money that I get on donations or anything for anything personal it just goes all right back into my channel anyway hope to see you guys tomorrow night have a good rest of your Saturday. If the, well, I guess there's no Saturday left anywhere anymore. But have a good Sunday. Uh, we will have no no stream in the daytime tomorrow. But I will be back at 7 p.m. Have a good one, guys. Adios.